Daddy, will you read me a bedtime story? Okay, sweetie, but just one. It's a school night. So, what kind of story do you want? A scary story. <laughs> a scary one? Okay, okay. I'll tell you the story of the fat cats. Ooh. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the educators of Chicago did something that would change our lives forever. There were a bunch of fat cats running the schools back then. And even though they were making tons of money, they wanted more. So they forced the educators to work longer hours, take pay cuts, and move their students into unsafe buildings. These actions hurt the educators, but the fat cats promised it was best for the students. Soon, they started noticing that none of the money was going to the students, though. Instead, it was all going straight to the fat cats, making them even richer. The educators realized they had been lied to and that the fat cats didn't care about them or the students. Bad kitty. Right then, the educators decided they had had enough. All the teachers decided to join forces and form what was called a union. And by standing together, they were able to fight back against the greedy fat cats. And they ended up winning and getting what was right for their students and themselves. After that, years and years went by. And even though new fat cats tried different ways to take advantage of educators and students, the union was always there to step in and protect them. But last year, a new evil fat cat landed in Chicago, and he brought in a whole litter box full of evil fat cats from all over the country. Uh-oh. They sat in their fancy offices and came up with a plan to take advantage of the educators and students. This new idea was one they were sure would work. They were going to get rid of the union once and for all. The fat cats went out and started telling everyone how bad the educators were, how lazy they had become, and how the students didn't even like them. <gasps> and unfortunately, people started to believe the fat cats. They got parents and community members to agree that educators and their union were bad and that the schools their kids go to should be turned around. And just like that, their plan worked. Educators and the community started fighting each other. And the fat cats just sat back and laughed and watched as the money rolled right into their pockets, just like the good old days. But there was one thing the fat cats didn't plan for, and that was the educators coming together in a way no one had ever seen before. At the Auditorium Theater in downtown Chicago, history was made. Almost 10,000 teachers, paraprofessionals, students, and supporters all came together to stand up to the fat cats once again. They rallied in the theater, rallied in the streets, rallied in front of City Hall. And after that, for the first time in decades, the educators of Chicago announced they were going on strike until every student, educator, and parent was treated with respect. And to the fat cat's surprise, communities started to rally around the educators, giving them their support. And the fat cats could do nothing but watch as their sneaky plans began to crumble right before their eyes yet again. The educators of Chicago are hoping that people see what the fat cats are really doing. They're closing our public schools, destroying the livelihoods of our educators, and jeopardizing the future of our children. All so they can give more money to their millionaire buddies and charter cronies. The stakes have never been higher in Chicago, but that's okay. Because as a city, that's when we're at our best. Don't let the fat cats bully students or educators anymore. Join the movement to fight for education equality. Keep public schools open, protect our educators, and give every student the education they deserve. And just like that day, long, long ago, we'll defeat the greedy fat cats and change our lives forever. The end. Daddy, are the fat cats gonna get my school? Not if we stand up against them. The fat cats are mean. I don't want them to ever win. Oh, me neither, sweetie. Now get some sleep. Your school will be okay. 